Sato into the 20th fight of her professional career for Katie Taylor. 13 of those previous 19 have been world title fights. Much, much more experience than her opponent tonight, Feruza Sharapova. So proud to be representing her native Kazakhstan, just as Katie Taylor is representing Ireland. And Taylor looking to land the right hand in the early stages to make her speed tell. Sharapova trying to get to work behind the left-hand jab, flicking it towards the chin and then varying the trajectory, going down to the body, landing one to the body of Taylor. Taylor responds in kind with a very similar shot. The difference in speed, Mike. It's the first thing you notice here. Good check hook from Katie Taylor. Just as Otsugawa, uh, just as Sharapova, should I say, who's been sparring with Otsugawa, tries the overhand right. That's brought her a lot of success in her career so far, but at a much lower level than this, apart from that debut against the Russian Otsugawa, who was beaten by Katie Taylor in the final on a raucous occasion at London 2012 in the famous Excel Centre on occasion all the way through that Olympic campaign of Katie Taylor's that no one who was there for any of the fights will ever forget. Taylor now trying that right hand over the top. So Katie Taylor being asked to increase the tempo in the corner and to try to impose her class, her experience, her authority on the contest as we move into the third round. Ten rounds of two minutes in duration for the undisputed lightweight championship of the world and Sharapova showing confidence in stepping forward and varying the shots. Good left hand from Katie Taylor opens up then to the body. Credit to Sharapova, she took it well and comes back immediately with her own. So we're heading towards the halfway stage of what's becoming a fascinating contest here and Katie Taylor is really having to think, really having to work for her successes here against 27-year-old Feruza Sharapova of Kazakhstan, who during the week has spoken of her affection for Katie Taylor and has often been doe-eyed in looking at Katie Taylor at the various set-piece events, the press conference and the weigh-in, but showing here that although she's got respect, she's a long way from being overawed. Right hand over the top from Katie Taylor gets through and there's damage to the eye of Sharapova, when she turns towards us, we'll get a better look at it. Darren Barker's scorecard there. All square, two rounds apiece after the four completed rounds. Sharapova has that damage by the right eye, damage beneath it, and it looks as though there might be some damage above it as well. We'll get a closer look at that in the corner at the end of this round. We're halfway through round number five. Action become real scrappy here and a lot of holding and clinching. So attention being paid to damage above and beneath the right eye for Feruza Sharapova, who now on Darren's card is trailing by three rounds to two as we head into the second half of this fight for all four versions of the women's undisputed lightweight championship of the world. And Katie Taylor now, can she impose her experience? She's been involved in so many more big nights like this at this pace for the full 10 rounds, whereas Sharapova is stepping up in terms of quality and class. And it's just a level of concentration, Mike, it takes to compete at this intensity and at this level. But just a sign there as Sharapova made her way forward that it's beginning to get ragged. So is she getting tired now physically and mentally? from the exertions of having to think all the time and then being hit on the break. And referee John Latham here, I think, is going to punish quite harsh. Sharapova for the first harsh time. The they're, they're, they're both been holding, they're both, you know, it's not, it's not been excessive. How would she respond to that? Will that fire up? Or will it demoralise her? And Katie Taylor goes to work on the inside. She landed a terrific left hand to the body, having slipped the jab of the Kazakh boxer on the inside. And this is maybe now where Katie Taylor can, can start to assert. 
she could use her jab a lot more. She starts her attack just like that from so far out. They're easy to time. She's giving, up, she's giving Sharp over a chance every time. She should use her jab to set these attacks up. Sharp Power knows she probably needs to win the last few rounds now. We'll press forward maybe. And, and that we'll shoots tail. And that left hand jab. Walk on to the jab. Or the right hand counter. Into the second minute of the eighth round, ten two minute rounds. All four of the lightweight world titles at stake here, they've been held by Katie Taylor for two and a half years as Sharapova gamely tries to get herself back into the contest here. Taylor made to miss once again. Sections of the crowd here breaking into song, trying to inspire Katie Taylor into a dramatic finish here as we head towards the halfway stage of round nine of a scheduled ten. Good right hand from Katie there. But any chance of a follow-up smothered by Sharipova on the inside, another left hand lands from Taylor. Makers in the lead up to this fight had Katie Taylor a 20 to 1 on shot. You could get 10 to 1 against Cruiser Sharapova, but at times it's been much, much closer than that. And the corner have done good work on that damage that appeared much earlier on the right eye of the challenger. As Taylor tries to find the room to work away on the inside, but much more effective for much of this round so far, with half a minute to go, has been Sharapova. And a good right hand on the inside from Sharapova. This is oh, a good left hook from Katie. Katie Taylor finds room for the left hook, just steps back. And again, another left hook from Katie Taylor. The best shot of that particular exchange. But great Sharapova finish to the fight, Mike. Great to finish to the fight. Sharapova with a right hand over the top. And Katie Taylor again tries to step back. Brilliant finish to the contest for four versions of the world lightweight title. And Feruza Sharapova out of shot believes that she's done enough. Katie Taylor in her 20th professional contest, pushed all the way by this gutsy challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here in Liverpool, England, we go to the judges' score totals and they read as follows. Marcus McDonald, 98 to 92. Jean Robert Lane, 97 to 92. Pavel Cardini, 96 to 93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Katie Taylor.